Tonight is Njoki Shege. Now, the High Court has dismissed an application by impeached Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, uh, challenging Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu's decision to empanel a three-judge bench to preside over proceedings regarding his ouster. Now, Gashagwa seeks to have the bench recuse itself when the matter comes up for hearing on Thursday at the ceremonial court. Our very own Seth Olale with the latest legal proceedings on Gashagwa's impeachment case at the Milimani Law Courts. Take a listen. Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? Impeached Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa suffered a setback in the preliminary stages of a case challenging his ouster. The High Court ruled against Gashagwa's petition seeking to declare as illegal a decision by Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu constituting a three-judge bench to preside over impeachment proceedings. In a ruling delivered by Justices Eric Ogola, Anthony Mrima and Freda Mugambi, the three-judge bench presiding over consolidated cases of impeached Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa stated that Deputy Chief Justice lawfully empaneled the bench to preside over the matter. In this case, we do not find any fault in the Honorable DCJ assigning judges to sit in this bench, more so when the Honorable Chief Justice has not raised any red flag. The judges further stating that the court acted within judicial rules in issuing orders beyond official working hours after an application was submitted by the Attorney General seeking to vacate conservatory orders issued by Justices Chacha Mwita of Nairobi and Richard Mwongo of the Kerugoya High Court, stopping the swearing-in of Kithure Kindiki as the new DP. This bench remains firm in its duty and will not be swayed or influenced by any form of intimidation regardless of Source. The bench wishes to once again emphasize its unwavering commitment to objective neutrality in this matter. Gashagwa's counsel, led by Paul Mwite, indicating to the court that their client will appeal against the ruling. Obviously, the decision is that of the client. So I will be advising the client but it is for the client to make the final decision. The three-judge bench will on Thursday morning preside over consolidation on additional files and other procedural matters in the proceedings before hearing a recusal application by Gashagwa in the afternoon. The three-judge bench of the Constitutional and Human Rights Division of the High Court says it continues to receive cases relating to the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa as directed by the Chief Justice of Kenya. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, at the Milimani Law Courts, Nairobi County.